What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another training guide and we are hyped for Bernardo Silva. This guy looks insane and he could be potentially one of the best AMFs in the game. So we're going to get straight into him. We've already covered Diaz, we've already covered Haaland, we've covered Rodri. We will have one or two more players in this pack as well. But for now, I think Silva stands out as one of the most impressive players that they have released recently, right? Now, he's only really impressive if you have missed out on his previous card, which was the Portuguese pack. Because when we head over to eFootball DB, we're going to take a look at this card that's currently here, which is an 85 rated attacking midfielder. He's got 85 ball control, 84 dribbling, 85 tight possession, and 87 balance is his standout stats. He's got unwavering form, pretty much every player skill that you could want. He'll get through that in a second. But this Portuguese card is a carbon copy of that. I mean, this is one handy thing you can do in eFootball DB without leaving the page or, you know, comparing anything. The compare is built into this actual um, hover feature where you literally just hover over and it changes the card uh, without reloading the page, right? So this is the card that we're comparing it with. Obviously, this is a maxed out version. This is the Portuguese pack, and this is the normal pack that we have that we're going to be reviewing now. They both are identical cards, lads. This is an identical card. So if you have the Portugal card, you have this card already, except that it doesn't have the Portuguese um, assets and imagery on it, right? So bear that in mind, if you don't, if you've missed out, and a lot of people ask me the whole time, why do they keep releasing Haaland? Why do they keep releasing Man City packs? The reason is, man, is, you know, some people are only downloading the game uh, today. Some people have only downloaded the game last week. So they've missed out on chances of spinning for these cards before, you know? So for the likes of me and you, you might have, you know, been playing this game for the last year or so, or six months or so, or whatever it is. And you might have had, you know, six attempts at getting a Haaland. But for some people that downloaded today or tomorrow or yesterday, they're only going to have this chance to get them. So that's why they keep re-releasing stuff, in my opinion, because it makes sense, especially with the contract situation with the contract renewal. But anyway, getting on to Bernardo Silva, he does have 23 levels to go, which gives you about 45 points, or 44 points, I should say. He does have unwavering form, scissors feint, cut behind and turn. He doesn't have double touch, which does stop this card from being absolutely broken with the double touch and the way that you can use that in tight pockets of space. But what this card really excels at is shooting. And this is something that I think you need to train up, right? Two things stop this card from being completely meta, um, in my opinion, as like one of the best AMFs in the game, right? Yes, it is an ex a really exciting card if you do spin him. I definitely recommend throw him into your squad, especially with the unwavering form. But he has no one-touch pass as an AMF, which is killer. And he also doesn't have double touch, which is killer. So you can't really have that quick fire passes and you can't really have those quick twitch kind of, um, you know, dribble moves either. So that is just something to keep in mind. Now, he does have some beautiful feet and beautiful dribbling animations because he's a small base player, kind of like Foden, um, if you've used Foden. But he is a creative playmaker. He's not a, a whole player. So that is something else to keep in mind as well, right? So if you look at his stats here, you've already got mid 80s for balance and the dribbling stats, right? So which is good. The one downfall of this, as I said, is the passing. So you are going to have to pick and choose how you train him. So we've got two options as usual, as we do here. The first option I think could be extremely overpowered in the right person's hands, right? If you like to shoot a lot of shots, if you're very comfortable in front of the box, if you're very comfortable with stunning shots and you like to keep your opponent guessing what you're going to do, instead of just one touch passing all the way across the pitch into the central and then just try and tap the ball in with an easy finish. If you are looking at playing a bit of possession, a bit of a wide, or you're just trying to have a bit of varied gameplay and varied attacks. This guy is an insane build here, right? You've got 90 offensive awareness, acceleration and dribbling. And then you've got 99 balance You've got 91 ball control and tight possession, but included with that, you also have 80 pass. So I would say that this guy is more of a kind of a pass first um, master. And then we also have a second build that's going to be shooting, right? So this is the build for the shooting. I apologize. I apologize. I made a mistake there. I had the wrong one up. This is the build for the shooting, right? So you've got 91 ball control and tight possession. You've got 90 dribbling. You've got 80 acceleration and 91 balance. And on top of that, you also have 80 finishing and 85 curl with 85 low pass, 80 offensive awareness. And you've got everything that you could possibly want in a 94 overall attacking midfielder. Insane, right? The one thing that you're going to notice with the, the way the game plays at the moment is the speed very rarely matters in different pockets of space. 
yes if you're a left back or a right back you need to boost up your speed because you know it boosts up your stamina you need to have that stamina if you're a central midfielder and you have low stamina you need to train up that stamina to at least an 81 or 82 in my opinion right but with Silva he's going to be just picking into little pockets of space he's not going to be covering vast areas of ground you know that's what your CMFs and your defensive type players you know your ball kind of stoppers are going to do right so this would be a this would be a build of Silva that is for finishing if you're very comfortable finishing with him um and if you like to play kind of like you know a messi esque type role where you're doing a lot of curl shots his long range shooting and long range curler and pinpoint uh crossing will give you a lot of options when you're either on the wide cutting in or taking shots out wide outside curler we also have low lofted pass which can keep opponents guessing as well and then this build is more of a pacey right this is going to be your winger so i always talk about wingers that need to have 90 dribble and 90 acceleration and 90 balance this guy throws in 90 offensive awareness 91 ball control and tight possession as well as 80 pass so he is the ultimate winger that can also play a bit of ball as i said the only thing stopping this guy from being truly meta is the fact that he doesn't have double touch with this build and he doesn't have one touch pass with this build so it's kind of picking your poison they've really tried to balance the players but that is it there's the attacking build with the finishing shooting a lot and there's the attacking build that's going to be an outright winger that can cut in so let me know what you guys think i will talk to you in a bit peace